Aries Spears and Tiffany Haddish. It backfired on them because they were trying to make fun of Bill Cosby and it ended up backfiring on them. Now, they knew exactly what they were doing. I'm going to repeat that. They know exactly what they were doing. This was no more than a trial run. They wanted to see what type of reaction they would get from the public. They knew what they were doing. Now, isn't these the same people that trashed R. Kelly and Bill Cosby? They threw them under the bus. And now, after laughing at Bill Cosby and R. Kelly and hoping for their demise, they now pull a stunt like this. Another issue I have is that so many people claim to care about this young boy. Everyone now has an opinion, but the hypocrisy is out of this world because unlike R. Kelly, now people are saying, where were the parents? Why would the parents allow this to happen to their children? Why weren't the parents there? But yet, Ari Spears was the one that was peeking through the newspaper in that skit at a little boy in his underwear. Now, I watched that. At first, I heard about it, didn't pay it no mind, until a family member sent me the video. And even then, I didn't even watch the video until I saw so much commotion on the internet. And then I say, let me take a look at this and see what it's about. I looked at it, couldn't even get through it. I even deleted it from my messages because I would not want any type of filth like that linked to me. That was complete filth. And they knew exactly what they were doing in the climate that we're living in today. Are they pets? Yes, I can put them on the label of being a pet. That was disgusting, it was filthy, and it was distasteful. But, again, I think this was no more than a test run. They was testing the atmosphere. They was testing to see how people would take to it. And by everyone that watched that video, saw that video, became offended of that video, accomplished, mission is accomplished because that's all they wanted was for you to see it. Now they're in the limelight. They're in the news. Yes, they're being sued. And don't think for a minute, for a minute that they did not anticipate being sued. Don't think for a moment that they didn't, they didn't expect that. And I'm sure they had money set aside just in case. But they were testing the climate. They were testing to see the reaction of the people once they put it out there. We all should know by now that black people are a testing ground. The so-called black community, the black Americans, are no more than test rats. Everybody wants to test on black Americans. Just like these banks now want to give zero down payment loans for homes to black people at a time when mortgage rates and interest rates are at its highest. Now they want to give you a loan with nothing down. Knowing that you're already struggling and knowing that if you foreclose, they're going to take that back. And you would end up owing them. Putting you further and further in debt. No more than a testing ground. So 
Ari Spears and Tiffany Haddish knew exactly what they were doing. They were expecting this. With all of this, 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 this child trafficking and human trafficking and all of these uh, 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 entertainers or celebrities that's being brought on charges for being a pet. And now all of a sudden they want to test the waters. First, it was T.I. and his wife. And there's a lot of black folks that's now into that. See, they're like grooming the children's mind, even in the educational or non-educational system. It's an educational system, but it's a different type of education that they're feeding the minds of the children. See, children are not allowed to really go outside and play like when I came up. See, so they manipulate these children's minds through iPads and phones and things of that nature. Through social media. So they groom in the minds of these kids and the sacrificial lamb is black people because black people always try to do what they see the, see the slave master children do. So now Ari Spears and Tiffany Haddish decide to put that trial skit out to test the climate before they drop something a lot worse than that. So they knew exactly what they were doing. But it backfired on them. They, it backfired on them. He did a skit of Bill Cosby. It backfired on him because now he's the one that's being sued. He's the one that's being sued. They knew what they were doing. I don't buy it for a moment. They call themselves having regret and they didn't know. The parents talking about they didn't know. You don't trust your kids in the hands of strangers just because of the fact that they are a celebrity. You don't do that. You protect your children at all costs, especially with the climate that we're living in today. Especially in the climate that we're living in today, you protect your children. See, they felt they can do that because all of these so-called black females are protesting to assassinate their children by way of abortion. They're fighting for the right to terminate their pregnancies. So all of these people, there's, there's that, that this outcry where the children and their pets and all this other nonsense, that's hypocrisy. Because you don't care nothing about these kids. You care nothing about those children. You don't. Because if you cared about the child that was in that video, you'd care about the children that's in your womb. Your own children that's in the womb. So it's, it's a fake outcry. I don't believe it. I don't buy it. Not one bit. People just want things to talk about. And this is the thing to talk about today is Ari Spears and Tiffany Haddish. The same people that last laughed at Bill Cosby and R. Kelly and wanted them fed to the wolves. But now everybody's concerned about the parents. Where were the parents? Well, where, where, were, the, where were the parents with R. Kelly? Why aren't the parents arrested and locked up right along with R. Kelly? But you're giving Tiffany Haddish and Ari Spears, a pass. Take the attention or the focus off of them and say, where are the parents? Why would you give your kids? Well, the same reason why you aborted yours. See, so this is not a new thing. There's a lot of parents out there, especially in the so-called black community, that's got their children for sale. I'll repeat that. There's a lot of black folk a lot of black females that got their children up for sale. So this was a test run. They were just testing the climate. So feedback, tell me what you think until next time. I'm fearless.